calories do you normally eat on a training day? Uh, training day, 3,000, over 3,000 calories a day. So usually my normal macros are 165 grams of protein, 65 grams of fat, and 400 grams of carbs. So not scared to eat. of putting in usually I try to get 35 grams of protein in the morning 15 grams of fat and then 60 grams of carbs so I'm kind of playing around with the food I want to eat this morning once on Instagram someone made this stupid comment I mean you get so many messages on Instagram of people kind of shaming on your body and saying you look like a man or saying you're too muscular and I got this one message like you train so much but how do you still have a pudgy stomach and for me, I'm just like, they have no idea like what is going on or they can't make these assumptions and just be like, oh, why do you train all day and have this pudgy stomach? At the end of the day, maybe my pudgy stomach is actually healthy and good for me rather than being really lean and super toned because then I wouldn't have the fuel to get myself through my training. So I'm actually proud of my pudgy stomach that I have that because then I'm able to compete the way I do like it's actually good for women to have a little bit of fat on their bodies and I think so many people think they need to look a certain way or not have any fat on their body but it's actually really healthy for us especially as women and so when that person made that comment I just got so fired up by it and I wrote a body image post just kind of explaining like hey it's okay to have a little bit of fat on your body it's okay to look this way we're all made in different shapes and sizes and we're all okay in our bodies and I think just being accepting of that and knowing that everyone is beautiful in their own way. Rasmus doesn't eat <laughs> no uh, he's been trying out a new diet so he, usually I make breakfast for him in the morning but I'll just leave his breakfast in the microwave because he won't eat it until like after 12. He's right there just laughing about this currently. What yeah, is so I need to lose weight, so if I don't eat, then I lose weight. So. <laughs> um, no, so the reason is I just, I eat um, around, when is the first time I eat? I eat around 12 o'clock, 1 yeah. o'clock. And I eat the last meal the day before at um, 9. He yeah, actually really does the pure vanilla protein with do the, that. do you add the collagen in there now? Well, it depends, like sometimes. Sometimes he has a collagen, but it's like his famous oat milk latte. Um, it's coffee and the vanilla protein and oat milk. I'm not a big <laughs> coffee drinker though, I do tea, so. I tried it though and it's really good. I like doing this on like a Sunday or Thursday just because it takes a little bit longer to cook. Um, so I have some more time today. And then I like to make oatmeal. So I'll do like oatmeal with berries. And then I might even add a little bit of puree vanilla protein. I usually like to taste or make the oatmeal taste a little bit better. So I'll add a little bit of that in there. I do 98% of the cooking and Rasmus maybe does 2% if he feels like it. It's not true. <laughs> oh, in the athlete space, I definitely think that if you're not taking your nutrition seriously, I don't think you're maximizing um, your competitive performance. So I know all like the top games athletes, yeah, they're watching what they eat. I'm probably looking really good right now on camera because you guys are here, but maybe if uh, it was just me today, I wouldn't be as serious, but I do usually do this like 85% of the time. Cleaning. Rasmus is so partic particular with where everything should be and how clean the household should be. I almost says, said he has an OCD for cleaning. Like he's so particular. If you don't put the tea, the teaspoon back where in the right drawer, in the right direction. It's not that hard. It's, it belongs in one drawer, so you just put it back where you took it from. Is he, that easy? No, he has a system, and I'm like getting used to this system. Like he just made this new system like two weeks ago, and like it's all new to me. Apparently, he had a system that I didn't know about, 
Protein shakers. Metal ones go to the left. Plastic ones go to the right. That, look, but is that not that? Is that hard? Like, this is hard to organize, right? So like metal, you got plastic. Like it's organized in that. And in, in the real rows, you take it out and you just put it back where it came from. It's, it's a pretty simple system, I would say. Like. So that we can't really figure out. Yeah, yeah, but I didn't know that. I put a plastic one in the metal one, and he was like, didn't you realize there was a system? I had no idea you had a system. Oh my gosh, I was done. I just have some gymnastic skill work and then some conditioning. So every minute on the minute for 18 minutes, strict toes the bar, handstand hold, and then heavy rope double unders. And then I'm doing five sets of sled push and bar muscle ups. So this morning, the morning session is usually a little shorter than my afternoon session, which will be largely like Olympic lifting, a workout, and then accessory work. Face off whatever I have going for the morning or afternoon. It really depends on what movements I see, but I almost do the same warm-up every single session if it's for squatting, same warm-up if I'm deadlifting, same shoulder warm-up if I'm doing pull-ups. But right now I'm just kind of warming up my calves and ankles just because I have the sled pushes and then some double unders. But this will be a shorter warm-up today. Usually I spend like 30 minutes warming up. Right now I'll probably spend very little time because everyone wants to get started. I came late to the session. That's pretty normal for me. Coming late. It's not a good thing either. Wait, I just want to grab Brittany's rope right now. Brittany is doing double unders with this little rope and I have this huge massive rope right now. What's the physical difference between them? Like? Uh, how much does this rope weigh? I think it weighs like two pounds or something like that. Like the thick cable and yeah, it's heavy. Just, it's a whole lot harder. You need to be more aggressive with your wrists, um, and it just burns your forearm. The heavy rope is significantly harder. What's wrestling? Working. Someone has to work. No, he'll be in for the afternoon session. My legs are dying. Right here, I get it's just congested still, so I can just yeah. I can't breathe through my nose right now. Yeah, that looks um, yeah. But it was a good workout. Um, back in 2014, I didn't even warm up at all. Like I would just go straight into lifting and gymnastics and everything. And now my body hurts, and I totally understand oh all the people who were a little bit older than me and be like, Lauren, just wait until you hit like your mid 20s or 30s. Like you're gonna be feeling it. And now. I definitely feel those aches and pains compared to when I was 19. I didn't feel anything. I was just like immobile to any injury or anything. Right now I just have water with electrolytes in here and then I'm gonna make a shake. It'll have 20, so I'll do a scoop of puree, 25 grams of protein, and then I do a scoop of carbs, around 50 grams of carb powder, and then creatine, glutamine, and leucine. Six sets of 100 at a fast pace, and then three sets of 1,200 meters. I think there's always times when I'm not motivated to do my session, and there are times when I just don't want to do what I do, but I think it's the discipline that keeps me coming back. There are times when I know to hold back and I'll take a rest day or maybe even take two to three days off, but I think discipline, once you can build a habit, you can keep coming back despite not having motivation.